Hello everyone, welcome to the introduction class of FRM part 1 session 2021 at Falcon Industries. First of all, I would like to thank you for letting us help you in your FRM preparation by choosing us as your preparation partner. So first, let's discuss about what is the purpose of this topic or what is the purpose of this class. In this class, we will talk about two things. First is the preparation process, like how we are going to conduct the classes, how to appear for the section test, what are the, what are the purposes of different type of content which you will receive in the preparation process. This is the one thing. Second is, I will tell you or guide you on how to keep your mindset, a certain type of mindset to make sure you are always ready for the preparation and the exam. Okay, so without wasting any further time, let's start our discussion. So let's first talk about what is the goal here. Our goal of this class is making sure you clear your exam in very first attempt. I really don't care about any other thing apart from you clearing the exam in first attempt. That's it. And your goal should be the same. That is clearing the exam. Our focus for next four to five months should be on the exam and nothing else. Nothing else as in in preparation level, you have to stay focused for the exam. Right. So let's. Let's see. What is in the next slide? So this is about the time left for the preparation because by the time you see this video, maybe you have say four to six months or two to four months or less than two months for your exam. So in this session, you have to make sure that just a second. You have to make sure that if you fall in this category, that is you have four to six months left for your exam or you have four to six months for your preparation for the exam, you will go strictly as per the guidance of this video. Okay, whatever I'm guiding you in this video is good for you. And it is designed or it is uh, created or prepared for you. If you fall in this category, say you have less than four months, but more than two months, then you will talk with me first. And we will design your custom strategy based on your background education, based on your preparation, whatever you did till now or till that time like that. OK, so everything I will consider first, I will talk with you and then based on that, I will guide you. OK, so you have to follow that preparation strategy. Your preparation strategy will be very different. OK, next is if you have less than two months to get. So for say exam and the preparation, then again, you have to go through the custom strategy. Now, remember one thing, if you have four to six months for your exam and four to six months you have for the preparation. And if you follow the process, I assure you there is a 90% probability that you will clear the exam. OK, but you have to follow the process. I like to say 100%, but someone told me we should always leave 10% for luck, OK, for some bad lucks or like that. So after leaving this 10% for luck, 90% is your passing probability, okay, which is really good. That is 100% if extraordinary circumstances don't appear. Otherwise, even like in this scenario, 90% is really amazing. Again, I will reiterate the same thing. You have to follow the process. Process does not require you to put any extraordinary efforts. Process requires you to put efforts in a systematic manner, okay. Now see here. Next is the two to four months, the students who have two to four months for their preparation. Remember one thing, you have equal probability or possibility of clearing the exam, equal 90%, okay? But we have to design a strategy for you. So I will cut short few things from your preparation. I will tell you like study this in the limited manner or like you have to focus on this area and ignore this area and like that. And based on this, we will uh, optimize your preparation. Our goal is to reduce your preparation time. Okay, my goal will be to reduce your preparation time. And based on that, you have to add. So am I saying, saying this just to motivate you or do we have any uh, evidences for this? I will just give the recent evidence. Recent evidence is the October exam, October 2020 exam. In October 2020 exam, uh, there are three specific students, okay? who enrolled with Falcon Edifin just two to three months before exam. Okay. And see what happened. We prepared strategy. We worked on it. We as in the students worked on it. They took guidance and we discussed on everything and on every aspect of their preparation. 
I guided them personally for their exam session and with their hard work all three cleared the exam and it is not clearing in the fluke I will just give you the quartiles I'm, I'm, I'm able to specifically remember the quartiles of first two students okay and uh, I guess this one student was something like this okay so maybe two two one one like this I'm not able to exactly recall the quartiles but these two quartiles are sure and all three cleared the exam in three months of preparation so does this mean you should prepare only for three months no strictly not first we have to make sure we prepare for four to five months four months at least four to five months is a good time okay so this is recommended but in case you have safe only this much time left that is four to two months then you don't have to lose hope okay you have complete chance or the equal chances of clearing the exam so for this reason i'm explaining you that you don't have to lose hope stay confident and believe in your preparation and you'll be able to clear the exam next is the students who have less than two months we will talk about the custom strategy you have decent chances of clearing the exam definitely not the 90 percent because you will be taking a lot of risk in your preparation but trust me on this i will give you the best possible chance of clearing the exam best possible okay so this is about this situation so what is the conclusion of this slide this slide talks about you have to decide in which category you fall based on this if you are in the first category you will strictly go with the video guidance if you fall in the two to four months category you will watch complete video but then you will take the uh, personal guidance from me and i will guide you in your preparation and if you are less than two months again you will watch the video and you have to get the guidance okay so this is about the preparation uh time left for your preparation now next is the uh one particular mindset we have to build when we are preparing for the exam so we have to stay away from the guilt and stay close to the reality this will be your this should be written on your wall okay so first of all what helps in exam preparation either motivation or fear so motivation meaning you are motivated for the exam you are consistently motivated for the exam for next five months if you are motivated like this internally motivation if, if i can give you say one hour lecture okay one hour motivational lecture on why preparation is important why frm passing frm in first attempt is very important and everything but that will not work for more than say six seven days it will work only if you have that internal fire that internal motivation to prepare for the exam and trust me if you like lack motivation after say one month of uh, starting your preparation or 15 days after, after starting the preparation uh, don't feel guilty about it okay you are not a unique case around 80 percent students face the same problem in frm curriculum okay now what happens with the curriculum is because majority of the students are the working population they are working they have hard life they have to uh, work hard in their office say eight hours nine hours and ten hours and after that studying for the frm exam which itself is a bit difficult uh, requires a lot of motivation okay so if you try to push yourself on that it will take your motivation down so don't worry about it if you just make sure you realize that it happens with everyone it will help you in better preparation okay and next is the fear fear is remember like recall any past exam we all know that as we move closer to the exam fear generates in our mind and it helps us in focusing better so uh, this fear is really good factor for your preparation but fear like it is it is not possible to get the fears five months before the exam in normal scenario but we have technique to generate a fear and motivation both so i will talk about that fear and the motivation technique what doesn't help you is the guilt guilt as in say what will happen like we will start a preparation okay in next one month or say 15 days uh, you'll caught up with your say office work you will get caught up with the say your personal stuff and everything and you will waste your 10 days and after 10 days when you start your preparation you will start feeling guilty about why you wasted 10 days 
okay so where you could have saved time and so on this happens with almost everyone so it you are not the unique case first of all you have to remember this you are not the unique case and now imagine a scenario i'll just give you this scenario say you have this is say a good sunday and today you plan to study for say six hours so you opened your book your friends or say office colleagues called you and you went out for say dinner or lunch whatever is the scenario and you wasted your two hours now you come back to office or home and you want to start your preparation but when you are sitting for the preparation say you start to feel guilt about guilty about like you wasted your two hours and how bad this is how you'll clear the exam if you uh, keep repeating this and so on if you develop this guilt automatically it will create a guilt spiral and you will not be able to prepare for remaining four hours okay now what's the reality almost everyone is the same okay we all are human beings we like to uh, socialize we like to go out and everything every aspect of life is important and wasting two hours is not that bad okay so it is not wasting if you ask me honestly it is not wasting you are just maintaining your social balance so if you realize this now imagine a scenario if you realize this and you sit for the exam and you have four hours left you will be in the pleasant mood and you will be able to study properly so you have two options either feel guilty about it or feel pleasant about whatever you did for the two hours and then start your preparation you'll be able to prepare okay now you will come across some of you will come across these feelings so say i'm not giving my best or i'm lazy or careless uh, this is not my own feeling this is from the past my four three four years of teaching experience i hear this from students okay so uh, i'm not feeling like studying for the exam i'm lagging behind i have very less time left for the exam say two months uh, i'm not understanding everything and this exam is difficult all these types of feelings comes in your mind i will also i, I would like to add one particular point i'm not able to remember points or i'm not able to remember the concepts okay these are the scenarios one important thing you need to note here is this happens with everyone you are not the unique case okay we all feel like this when you are preparing for the exam specifically frm type of exam then you will get these three feelings definitely like you, i'm not able to recall and all these type of feelings okay so now understand one thing first i'm not able to understand everything is not the problem why answer is very simple because you are not supposed to understand everything exam requires like say hardly 60 65 in passing meaning even gap knows that you are not going to tick 35 to 40 questions right right so if this is a scenario then you don't need to be really amazing in everything you have to prepare for the exam you have to be prepared enough for the exam second is this exam is difficult it is not unique for you this exam is difficult for everyone so we don't have to bother about this particular point right so if the exam is difficult for you it is difficult for everyone we have to prepare properly so that we are better than others that's the goal and the last thing is i'm not able to remember anything don't worry no one is able to remember everything 5 months or 4 months before the exam uh, just recall your any exam you remember like when you sit in the exam hall suddenly you start to recall everything you have studied and just one day before you were like i am not able to recall anything or i am not able to remember anything so even with that feeling when you sit for the exam you are you were you were able to recall everything right so why this happens when you we sit for the when we sit in the exam hall our brain functions properly it works at its best possible capacity and automatically with that help that extra help generated from your brain you will be able to remember everything i don't remember the instances where students who complained on every day almost every day that they are not able to remember everything or anything from the syllabus they fail to recall concepts in the exam this is just a feeling that is you are not able to recall see every information is stored in your memory okay so when time comes automatically you will be able to recall the best uh opportunity to see if you can recall is the test okay so you have to appear for the test here so now study package content so see here 
you will get 130 hours of videos 130 plus as in 130 to 133 hours of exam focused videos so my complete discussion will be focused on exam that is what is the testing area of the exam and this is our discussion every video or every discussion starts in the, with the assumption that you are uh, you know nothing about the concept okay so we'll start from the basic and we will try to capture each and everything but we will stay we will make sure that every discussion is relevant for the exam we will avoid the irrelevant discussions which are not important for the exam then that's why the exam focus video you can play on the android phone or the tablet windows in windows we have extra feature you can increase the speed i generally prefer teaching slowly when i'm delivering any video i talk slowly so that there are students who like slow teaching okay they want to they want some time to absorb the concept okay to remember it properly so for them i teach slowly if you want faster delivery just increase the speed to 1.2x or 1.5x and it will be good then you can also play classes in the mac using mac using the virtual machine so you can boot windows in mac and or the second option is you can use the virtual machine it works fine properly no worry about it okay next is the 600 concept builders the questions we will provide you and then 600 exam level questions both are important concept builder have different purpose exam level questions have different purpose and if you add all these like test and everything it goes around to 1500 questions but you don't have to bother about like say 1500 question i will explain you what is the purpose of this then you we have 10 rounds of section test now complete syllabus is divided into 10 different sections you don't have to focus on the complete syllabus just focus on the one section you will appear prepare the one section revise the one section and appear for the test and you will keep doing it okay so this section division will help you in knowing your problem area better so once we know the problem area it is good for me it, it helps me in guiding you properly and it helps you in realizing what is your weak area then two rounds of full mock test these are the exam level plus 10 rounds of section test are exam level mock tests are exam level plus meaning so section tests are designed according to the exam so difficulty level is at par exam mock tests are one notch above the exam so i design mock test to prepare you for the exam so if the exam is easier than the mock test automatically your performance will increase right so that's the purpose then you will get fast track videos only important topics and uh, fast track videos is a 30 35 minute discussion on important topics where we will talk about talk about the exam important points these are for the revision purpose then fast track notes 100 pages covers all the topics and every important point is covered in the fast track notes then one to one doubt solving session i will talk about how we are going to conduct the doubt solving session and every aspect about it in the coming slide for now we will skip the discussion then guidance session after test you will get the guidance from me or from the manpreet um, on the your performance and then mind maps for the important topics mind maps are required in some areas where you need to categorically think about two or three different aspect of that topic in those to for those topics we will provide you mind maps now content availability the first question the important question when you will get the content now 90 percent of the videos will be available immediately as soon as you enroll enroll as in as soon as you start watching this video after this video you have the content list okay so 90 percent is available 20 percent will go for the update and this 20 percent updation is based on the recent exam so based on the recent exam we have to adjust our video according to the exam question so we will do that for this 20 percent will be updated uh, remember one thing uh, 20 percent updation as in uh, first i will update the video and then i will take the old video down okay previously what you used to do we used to take down the video and then you used we used to upload the new video now this will not happen you will always have the video we will upload updated video with simultaneously with the existing old video then concept builder concept builders all available available on the portal axis then the question bank available uh, again the updates will be available in the march end march end or april first week this is in the pdf format then say 10 section wise test will be conducted as per the schedule tests are available if 
you want to appear it before say if you are the deferred student and you want to appear for the test before before the scheduled date you have to um, uh, send us a request and depending on the scenario i cannot promise you we will provide you but if we think that it is important for you then in that case i will provide you the test in advance again mock test as per the schedule recommendation is you have to appear for say one month and uh, 20 days before your exam because now we ha have exam on say starting 7th of april to july uh, mid so there are different different dates based on your date you will appear for those mock tests then fast track videos already available and i will also give you the up updated fast track videos in april first week okay april first week or april say second week depending on your case you can choose whatever you want like you want to go with the existing videos existing videos are good good for the exam um, exam was according to this jan 16 exam was according to the these fast track videos then fast track notes already available again i will provide you the updated one afterwards but not sure mind maps not available at this time the uh, it will be available in the first week of april okay and here mind map is just a replacement of wall charts we used to provide previously the so wall charts are available if you want to go with the wall charts mind maps we are working on it then formula sheets already available and updated sheets will be available for like say uh, in second week of april okay this is about the availability of the content now next is the study process so study process is very simple for set 1 2 3 first set is about the quants basics second set is about the fmp basics that is the options and futures third set is about the fixed income basics so these are the three basic sets these three basic uh, sets lays down the foundation of your complete preparation so you have to make sure you prepare these three sets properly if you prepare these sets properly then you give me advantage of Uh, helping you in the crisis situation so if you come across any crisis in preparation like you have less time for the remaining sets then i can uh, make sure we can cut down some points or some area and still you will be able to cover the, those topics properly for ready for the exam in that format right so what is the study process here study process for 1 2 3 sets you will start with the set 1 you have to watch the video read from the material solve the concept builder or practice questions solve the section test and then take a feedback okay so in this area that is 1 2 3 4 4 for uh, processes you have to go with say start with set 1 finish this then set 2 finish this set 3 finish this okay you have to solve section wise test after every set after completing every set and once you are done with the three sets you will take compulsory feedback from me on your test based on your performance even if you score 55% in every even if you pass in all three sets you will take a personal guidance from me that's the rule so i will overview your test we can see uh, your test from our end we can see how much time you took to solve one particular question and based on that uh, i will be able to understand what is your problem area and then i will guide you how you can make sure that you are fixing your problem area and that problem is not repeated in the further remaining seven sets okay so you have to make sure you get the guidance i will also guide you like what type of mistakes you are making what is your common problem and everything everything will be guided to you you don't have to worry about it but you have to focus on it now once you complete this particular part that is section test feedback and everything automatically your mindset will be ready for the exam okay it will be tuned according to the gaps exam and when you start your further sets that is the set 4 to 5 4 to 10 your preparation will change drastically okay now we discussed about in the first slide we discussed about um, what helps motivation and fear so these are the sets like this is the process which helps you in either getting motivated or generating a slight fear which will help you in preparation the answer is very simple what happens is if you score better than the other students automatically you will be motivated and you will feel like studying okay that confidence will help you in preparation if you score poorer than the others it will create a fear for the exam 
and that fear will develop a focus for your preparation and automatically you will be able to prepare in a better manner so both the things will help you okay now set 4 to 10 here you will apply the same process same this process like watch read solve solve and feedback if required after set 4 it is not compulsory it is not compulsory for you to take the feedback because you will develop a certain level of maturity where you will be able to understand what is your problem area after set 4 but till set 3 it is compulsory so you will follow the same process here at the same time you will start simultaneous revision of the previous sets okay and then if required take a feedback this is the point of mock test you have to solve mock test 1 mock test 2 and then show for the exam so ideally you should solve mock test 1 one month before the exam and mock test 2 20 days or say 15 days before the exam now in mock test 1 uh, you will need guidance okay you have to get the guidance in mock test 2 you don't need that guidance automatically you will be tuned for the exam okay if you want you can take but not compulsory guidance is compulsory that taking a feedback from me is compulsory after the mock test 1 the next is the falcon portals overview i will show you the portal first so okay now this is our portal if you are watching this video meaning you are already on the portal so see here what you are supposed to do how to find your enrolled courses so this is the uh, purple bar here you have to click on these three lines and then you will see courses so simply click on the courses it will open your course section here because i am the administrator and developer of the website i am getting every access i have every access you will not get same access in your C, um, course section in my courses section you will get four courses access so access is for prime course section test fast track where is the fast track i guess yeah this fast track course and one is the full mock okay this is the mock test so you will have four courses access prime course fast track course section test and the mock test now how to proceed here so for prime courses things are very simple this is your dashboard you can minimize this and this is your normal portal okay so first you have to go to this in general content you have this falcon dashboard you have to click here it will open a dashboard and if you want a full view you can simply click here if you want night mode you can go like this this will create a night mode and normally just say in this particular format so this is our dashboard on this dashboard it, it will show you how many days are left to finish your syllabus okay so this is 64 days this is auto counter based on the set date you it is counting backwards so you have the countdown here so 64 days left so you will always know like only 62 days left or say 60 days left and so on then 72 days left uh, to go for the mock test and 91 for the exam okay so is the information then uh, here we have uh, falcon and uh, android player and the windows player uh, installation link so you can click here and it will provide you the link from where you, you are supposed to install the falcon player okay now this is about the dashboard you have to come downwards okay come to the bottom here and you will see at this particular point you will see mark as complete button okay so you have to click that button to proceed to the next set so we will start with the set one click here this will open the set one now set one starts with so you have to use these buttons to download the classes and see set one tells you the expected number of questions and then section test in section test how many questions will be there this is subject to change it can go from say 12 to 15 and so on right now it is uh, limited to 12. now topics which are being updated for the 2021 no nil topics okay and say one pager one pager is available here so how to uh, 
download the classes right click on this a fundamental soft probability every topic is marked with the color so easy is blue difficult is yellow and then red is for difficult so fundamentals of probability open this and here you will see this section so these are your classes click here download the class again click here download the class if you want say concept builder study notes like say in the beginning you can download from here so concept builder for initial few lectures concept builders are provided in the pdf for later topics concept builders are in on portal okay then one pager so here you can see you have one pagers so you can download it and read it whenever you want and then mind maps mind maps will be updated here okay then section wise test is here we will move the section wise test and these are your concept builders okay so um, f1 b2 c01 means book number 2 chapter number 1 like this now we will see fmp basics it is designed in the same manner same layout yeah see we just zoom and again the same section so we are updating one chapter so updates are mentioned here your one pager notes mind maps like this and this is your mark complete button so every time you move into the next set you have to click on the mark complete always remember this okay now again we will come back to our sections so this is your section wise test open the test whenever your section is complete you have to open this test dates are mentioned here when this will be available you have to start the course and automatically it will take you to the uh, test then click on the section test and then start the quiz appear for the test and finish the quiz once you are done with this if you want to review your quiz performance you have to come back to the uh, main website and here you have option of course review so here after coming to the course review click on the expand all and say this is the mock test round one okay so what we can do is you have to locate this statistics video uh, statistics logo click here click on this logo and here you will get your performance everything so question and then if you want to view the answer click here it will show you the option it will show you the answer and so on okay the complete test is available for your review it will show you everything like how much time you took hints used did you use the hints or not correct or incorrect points scored result and so on okay so my score is 25 percent i made 65 75 wrong 25 correct this is very similar to your uh, gaps cbt based okay so mock test sorry mock test as in cbt computer based testing new type of testing right this is about your portal overview this will be your complete uh, access point videos are downloadable you have to download those videos and then watch uh, in your own time so you don't need constant consistent internet to access the videos now let's come back to our um, slides so first course access i told you from where you will get the course access login id you will be provided with the login id then content access you know how to access the content now let's talk about the videos okay videos are the exam focused the first question important question generally students ask is like should they take notes now i personally don't recommend taking notes but if taking notes help you in remembering better okay or developing a good memory then you can go for the notes there is no as it's very compulsion to take notes or not to take notes so based on your own preference you can uh, choose to take notes or not then finish the chapter one or say one chapter in one city so don't distribute one chapter in two or three different settings if you sit for that chapter finish it. then do not read uh, notes while watching the video so when you are watching the video focus on the video because in reading that portion you might miss some important point which i am explaining in the video so you have to make sure you focus on the 
video and remember one thing once you watch the video automatically your reading time will be reduced to just 20 percent because you don't have to uh, focus on the explanation because every explanation is provided in the video you will never get stuck while reading because everything is explained in the video so everything is already in your mind you have to just go through the text so you develop a habit of reading okay and then if you find discussion very slow then you can definitely increase the speed here the next is the question solving concept builders and the exam level questions now see the concept builders concept builders are not compulsory you have to solve only if you want okay meaning if you come from the background which is say engineering and you have started uh, finance for the first time and you think like you're not uh, feeling comfortable with the topic then go with the concept checker concept checker will help you in concept clearing okay concept builders will help you in building your concepts once you have the concepts then you go for the exam level questions but say you come from this a background like cfa or ca where you have the good background of um, finances derivatives options and everything and you are not that weak in the area so you can skip the concept builders and you have to directly jump to the exam level question following this strategy is very very important because this will save you time what is the most crucial thing in the preparation is the time management remember this the next is the section test and the mock test as we discussed finish set 1 2 3 take the guidance finish rest of the set and get the guidance as per the requirement then solve mock 1 get the guidance and solve mock 2 as per the requirement or solve mock 2 and get the guidance as per the requirement okay so this is about the section test we already discussed everything about it then the doubt solving sessions how it will be conducted what is the criteria like how you should get the doubt solved first it is only available for the prime or repeaters okay so only two courses so here we have two faculties myself and manpreet singh both are the certified frms right so you don't have to worry about are your doubts getting solved by the certified frms or not so both are the certified frms general timing is 1 30 am to 8 30 pm this pm okay so this is committed time i'm not saying i will not solve doubts after this but i'm not committing it okay so if i have time available even after this definitely i would love to help no problem with that now for the international students so inform your preferred time so you will give me your time and i will match your time with my time suitable time i will dedicatedly create a slot for you okay so uh, because we have say substantial number of students from south africa countries like uh, nigeria ghana and so on so we have those students then we have substantial number of students from the uae so those students so we have to make sure that um, everyone gets the opportunity for the doubt solving so we will adjust your time and our time we'll try to match it okay so this is about the timings how it will be conducted whatsapp call screen share so depending on your doubt we will decide which mode is preferable first is whatsapp you have to first whatsapp us either faculty okay you can uh, contact manpreet sir or myself it doesn't matter so first whatsapp your doubt so we will see what type of doubt you have if you require say one hour then we will allocate you one hour if you require just one line explanation then one line explanation will be provided to you so depending on your doubt but first uh, first drop us the doubt so that we can allocate you preferred time one thing never hesitate for doubt solving okay feel free feel comfortable in doubt solving i like solving students doubts so don't worry about it your doubt can be say in your mind you might be thinking that your doubt is very silly or simple or not worth it or like that doesn't matter what matters is you passing the exam so you have to ask the doubt okay and screen sharing means if you need complete explanation you are not able to understand some section of your um, chapter then I will be responsible for explaining you that section. I will personally explain you that section. And time allowed based on the query, depending on the length of the query or depending on the type of the query, we will allocate you the time. 
Then fast track videos and the notes. These videos are for the revision purposes. 30 hours of fast track videos. Uh, ideal time is watch one month before exam or 10 days before the, your first mock round. And 100 page fast track notes use only after the regular preparation. Don't use fast track notes as way out for the regular preparation. Ideally, you should go with the regular preparation. And only you are once you are done with the regular preparation, you should go for the uh, this type of preparation like that is um, fast track video, fast track notes okay so that's all about the introduction class so all the best for your preparation i hope all of you clear the exam and stay in touch uh, give me feedback of everything your preparation if you find anything uh, not very well explained in the video give me feedback of everything we will try to fix everything if possible right so that's all about the discussion this video see you in the next session